former head of the American Visa Bureau in Jeddah is Michael Springman. In Saudi Arabia, I was repeatedly ordered by high-level State Department officials to issue visas to unqualified applicants. These were essentially people with no ties either to Saudi Arabia or to their home country. I complained bitterly at the time there. I returned to the United States. I complained to the State Department here, to the General Accounting Office, to the Bureau of diplomatic security, and to the Inspector General's office. I was met with silence. I, George Herbert Walker Bush. By now, Bush Sr., once CIA director, was in the White House. Springman was shocked to find this wasn't visa fraud. Rather, state and CIA were playing the great game. What I was protesting was, in reality, an effort to bring recruits, rounded up by Osama bin Laden, to the United States for terrorist training by the CIA. They would then be returned to Afghanistan to fight against the then Soviet Union. Taliban finances much of its operations by selling opium, which is grown from poppies, which are right now being harvested. So here's the question. Why are American troops now helping Afghan farmers grow that opium? A top Afghan drug lord has been a paid U.S. and government informant for years, according to the New York Times. Are Arizonans supporting the Taliban? A recent drug bust south of the valley revealed an unexpected link between our country and the country known for terrorism, which also happens to be the country producing most of the world's heroin. 3TV's Crystal Cruz has this story. Fields, it's not just pot and cocaine fueling the drug trafficking. Heroin is also creeping across the border, and the demand for this dangerous drug could be on the rise. What's hidden inside these tightly wrapped bundles is killing Americans. Look at all the poison that's sitting here. This is just plain, flat out poison. Chief Deputy Steve Henry with the Pinal County Sheriff's Office says nearly 90% of the world's heroin comes from Afghanistan. We've never made the case or argued the case that somehow Osama bin Laden was directly involved in 9-11. That evidence uh, has never been forthcoming. Well, I, I don't know where he is. Nor do, you know, I just don't spend that much time on him. i to be honest with you. I, I'm, I'm more worried about making sure that our soldiers are well supplied. Well, let me tell you about Halliburton, the company I ran. I'm very proud of uh, what I did at Halliburton. Uh, the people of uh, Halliburton are very proud of what they've accomplished. And uh, I, frankly, uh, don't feel any need to apologize for the way I've spent my time over the last five years as the CEO and chairman of a major American corporation. When do you see him in August? I don't believe I do. You don't see the President of the United States once in the month of August? He's in, he's in Texas, and I'm either here or on leave for some of that time, so I'm not here. 